Hey guys, I am in Chester, New Jersey today at the Black River Park and the Cooper Grist Mill. Now according to the Wikipedia page, people have been using the river to mill flour since the uh, early 1700s, but the mill, the Cooper Mill, as it stands today, was built in the mid-1800s by a guy named Nathan Cooper. And the uh, Morris County Parks Commission and the Friends of the Cooper Grist Mill, together they work to keep this mill in operating condition. And so you can visit the mill and uh, they have certain times of the week, certain times of the year where they give demonstrations. Uh, pretty cool. But that's not what we're here to see today. The trail I'm on starts at uh, the grist mill uh, right along 513 in Chester and I really enjoy hiking this park because it's a relatively easy hike. It's uh, pretty flat. There's lots of those neat little foot bridges and uh, also this park butts up against Hacklebarney State Park which is another pretty cool park to hike in. Seems no matter when I'm here there's never really anyone around. Look at this little guy. Eastern Garter Snake. I have literally come to a fork in the road. I can either go down that path, marked by this pole, or I can continue on the blue path. The problem is, I don't exactly remember how to get to where I want to go. I know it's along the river, so I'm going to make a right and go down this way. I could be wrong. I'm at another fork in the road, not 100% sure which way I should go. The last time I was at the place where I want to film today, I was on, let's say, the left side of the river. But the place that I want to see is on the other side of the river. So memory is telling me that if I go down this path, I'll end up in the same place that I was the first time I was here a few years ago. But instinct is telling me if I go down that path and make a left, going on the other side of the river, I might be able to find a way to actually get to the location. I'm going to give that a shot. Well, I'm now no longer on any kind of trail, but I am on the correct side of the river for what I'm trying to find, so I'm going to press on and uh, hopefully I'll get to it. We'll see. Well, going through the woods like that uh, proved to not be the correct way to go. You can see behind me, the woods there are basically just more of a cliff than anywhere that I can actually walk on. My destination is nowhere in sight, and now I'm perilously perched on a rock with a small waterfall. I'm going to have to use this little log here to hop onto that next rock and try and hike back up that way and get back to the uh, original trail, which I think is just right up, up there. Alright, so if I don't want to get my feet wet, i got to hop from there to there. 
it, on camera it doesn't look like anything, but it's it's farther than it looks. I made it. All right, guys. Well, I found it. I have found Kay's Cottage. Check this out. Now, of course, as I was saying before, what I wanted to do was be on that side of the river. I can imagine that at some point, whoever used to live there obviously were able to walk across this little bridge. There's more stairs right there, and there's a very long winding staircase that goes all the way up in the woods. All the way up. And then there's the cottage itself. So there's lots of information on the Black River Park, um, the Cooper Grist Mill, Hackle Barney Park, tons of information, plenty of Wikipedia pages and whatnot. This is known as Kay's Cottage, K-A-Y. So who is Kay? Well, Kay is a woman by the name of Elizabeth Kay. She was uh, an environmentalist and an author and a prominent citizen of Morris County. She owned about 230 acres of land that uh, she donated to the Morris County Parks Commission after she died. The thing is, there's nothing specifically about the cottage. I can't find any information about what it was used for, if anyone lived there. All I find is it's known as Kay's Cottage. So unfortunately, I don't have any actual information about this place. Thank goodness for waterproof shoes. So guys, I couldn't find a way across those rocks. They're a little too wobbly. So I came back up to the dam and I actually walked across this through the water. It's actually not, it's flowing pretty hard, but it's not that deep. And fortunately, my shoes are waterproof, so here we are. Let's go explore. Wow. Look at the fireplace. Beautiful. Neat. So there's this wall and there's a window there. I don't know if maybe this section that I'm standing in now, maybe this was an outside section, outdoor section. Here's the other little staircase that goes right down to the water. Let's see what's behind here, probably just another staircase.
Well guys, the stairs seem to just come up to this old woods road. Not sure where either end goes. But I'm going to have to end the video here because my phone's about to die. So, that's it for today. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you know anything about Case Cottage, be sure to put it in the comments. And uh, if you like the video, give it a thumbs up. Be sure to subscribe to my channel for more. And until I see you next time, go take a hike.